Yeah, so I can definitely look at the next watch now. Hi, what's going on? We just had a lawsuit in there. Yeah, is this about NDA? Yeah. yeah. So what happened today in the court? Who are you? Well, my name is Rocky and uh, 90 people are waiting all day. They promised that there will be a meeting. Oh, really? Press, I didn't know that. press meeting in the Foley Square. Uh, well, I have to go, but I'll talk to you for a couple minutes if you want. Right. Are you recording? Of course. I'm always live uh, all day. Okay. It's always live. Right. Well, we had a hearing in the case. We were arguing about the final order in the case. Right. And the government said it, it believes it has the power to detain people perpetually under this law. Yes. And even if they are not members of terrorist groups, simply for giving support to them. Someone? Support. Yes. And, you know, the judge seemed very skeptical about whether this could be constitutional. Uh, we made it clear that it's a statute that regulates speech. It has to be deemed illegal. And uh, the judge, you know, seemed very understanding of the constitutional problems in the law. And she said, are you saying to me that you have the power anywhere in the U.S. to put people in military custody? And the government said yes, under this law. And the judge looked very skeptical of that. So we'll see how it goes with the case. When do you expect the decision, the case? I mean, about two weeks. Final. Yeah. And then we'll see what happens. What's your, like, uh, 90%? I can't say. I mean, the judge was with us earlier when her initial injunction was issued. And I don't think anything has really changed in the case. So I'm hopeful that she'll stay with her position, but we'll see. I just heard that they uh, did this last minute. Is that true, uh, this appeal? Today? Why today? No, they appealed the original order that she entered, the yes. preliminary injunction. They did that just to make sure they don't lose any rights to appeal later. But once the judge enters an order here, and the gov if the government loses this case, they'll appeal, and that'll be the actual appeal. So what they just did doesn't matter that much. But it does show that President Obama is trying to keep this law, and he's not letting it go. Do you think uh, he's trying to get this um, passed the, after the elections by this... Uh I think that after the elections, he won't push it as hard. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Oh. Do you think uh, you get a lot of support uh, to fight this law uh, in the right and left? Everywhere? We had a whole coalition of conservative groups join yes. us. That's a good thing? Yeah, very good. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. But last thing, uh, are you involved in Occupy too? Or I'm not involved in Occupy, no. Oh. Okay, and your name again? My name is Bruce Afrin. I'm one of the lawyers for the plaintiffs in the NDAA case. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Okay, have a thank great you. day. Sorry we didn't see you And thank you for your help to the uh, to fight the uh, injustice in this law. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. How are you? Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Thank you very much. Take care.